In part 3 of the Merging and Arranging Graphs tutorial, I'll show you how to use the Layer Management tool to link and position layers. To open this tool for this graph, I select Graph Layer Management. The first thing that I want to do is rename the layers in the Layer Selection list so that they correspond to the legend for each layer. So layer 1 is peak 3, so let's rename that. I just double click. Layer 2 is peak 2. Layer 3 is peak 4. and layer 4 is peak 1. I can now drag on the row header to reorder so that they are ordered peak 1, peak 2, peak 3, and peak 4. Peak 1 is now layer 1, peak 2 is layer 2, etc. Now to arrange these layers, I go to the Arrange tab. I'm not going to link them at this time, so we'll uncheck that box. I'm going to leave the default arrangement as 2 by 2 and set the horizontal and vertical gap both to 0. Click Apply. This resizes the layers and positions them aligned. It also hides the ticks and labels where the layers overlap. Now let me go to the Axes tab. I want to select Peak 1 and Peak 3. I can hold down the Control key to do that in the Layer Selection list. And then for the left axis for both Layers 1 and 3, I want to set the tick direction to In. Click Apply and watch the change update in the preview. I now select Peak 3 and Peak 4. Notice I can just click and drag to make the selection as well. For the bottom axis, I also want to set the tick direction to In. When I click Apply, watch the bottom two layers here. At this point, it's a good idea to link the layers. We'll link peak 2, 3, and 4, layers 2 through 4, to layer 1. They all share a common X scale, so we'll set the X axis link straight 1 to 1. Click Apply, and then OK to accept the changes and update the original graph. At this point, if I wish to resize the layers, because layers 2 through 4 are linked to 1 in terms of their dimension, I want to click to select layer 1. I can then move this layer and the rest will immediately update and follow. I can also resize it and again the other layers will update accordingly. Same is true of the X scale, which we linked one to one. So if I double click on the X axis for layer one, remember layer one is the parent layer, make a change to the scale. When I click OK, you'll see that all the other layers then show the same X range. This concludes this part of the tutorial. But before I finish, one final tip. When arranging linked layers, they are treated as one unit. So you should first unlink if you need to rearrange, and then you can link again at the time of arranging. That's why I unchecked the link checkbox when I did the arranging. In this particular case, I could have left them linked. But if I needed to go back and arrange them, they would have been treated as the one unit. Thank you for watching.